Hey there, Louis here. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can integrate the Microsoft Teams Milestones app with Microsoft Planner. Now specifically, I'm going to show you how you can integrate these two apps so that whenever you create a new work item in the Milestones app, it will automatically create a task in a planner board and bucket of your choice. Let's go ahead and let's dive in. All right, now before we get started, you must have the Milestones app already installed in a team. Now you can see here that I have this app installed in a team called the Project Management Office and it is installed in the general channel. Now the first thing that you want to do is click on Power Apps in the Microsoft Teams app rail. Now if you don't have Power Apps, listed here, then what you want to do is click on the more added apps button and search for power apps. Now I will go ahead and click on power apps and a little tip. If you right click on this, you can actually pop it out into its own window. I'll go ahead and do that. And you can see here that it opens up in its own undocked window. Now you'll notice that this lands on the home tab and you should see here this recent apps menu. And this is going to show you a list of all of the different power apps that you've accessed. Now you should see the milestones app listed if you have installed it. Now you can see here on my screen that it is listed. And at the very end, you can see here that it is installed in the project management office team. Now, a really important note, if you have this app installed in multiple teams, you will actually need to perform the steps that I'm about to walk you through for each instance of that app that has been installed in a team. Now, you want to go ahead and click into the app. Now, you'll notice here that the name is a hyperlink, so I'll go ahead and click on this. And you can see here that the app has loaded in Power Apps. Now, the next thing that you'll need to do is hover your cursor over the data icon and you want to go ahead and click on this and then you want to click on the add data drop down. Now, in the select the data source field, what you want to do is search for planner and you can see here that the planner connector is listed. You want to go ahead and click on this and then you want to click on add a connection. And then you want to follow the steps to actually add a connection, which will involve putting in your username and password. Now you can see here that I've already established a connection. You can see planner is listed with my account. So I'll go ahead and click on this. And if I scroll to the very bottom of this data menu, you can see here that the planner connector has been added. All right, now the next thing that you need to do is click into the tree view, and this is going to display a list of all of the different elements and controls in this app. Now, what we're going to do is click on the add slash edit work item, and this is going to bring up the new work item screen. And then you want to go ahead and click on the create button. And then the next thing that you want to do is select the on select property of this button and you want to scroll over and expand the formula bar. Now you can do that by clicking on the little arrow here. And then if you place your cursor at the bottom of this bar, you can actually just drag it down and you're going to see here that there is a lot of code already implemented on this buttons on select property. Now, in order to create a new task, whenever a new work item is submitted in the milestones app, we are going to add a piece of code to the on select property of this button. Now you can see here that I have the sample code displayed in notepad. Now this code represents the planner dot create task action that is available when using the Microsoft planner connector. Now you can see here that I've switched over to learn.microsoft.com and I've navigated to the Microsoft planner connector documentation. And you can see here again that we are going to invoke this create task underscore V4. And this documentation is going to explain all of the different parameters and inputs and outputs that this action work with. Now you'll notice that this action accepts several parameters. 
So you can see here that the first thing you'll need to do is insert the group ID of the team that your planner board is stored in. And then you'll also need to add in the plan ID of the plan. So this accepts at a minimum two inputs, the group ID of the team and the plan ID. And you'll notice that you can also assign the task to somebody by hard coding in an email address here. Now I'll also demonstrate some additional parameters that you can include in here when we actually go ahead and populate this code. Now, if you want to download the code that I am using in this video, I've included a link to where you can download that code in the description below, or you can just click that card in the upper right hand corner of your screen and grab that code. All right, now really important, what you'll want to do before you paste this code in is you'll want to scroll down and you actually need to place this code in a specific part of the existing code. Now you'll want to look for this text that reads screen reader end. And what you want to do is you want to place the additional code just after this update context function, but before this particular curly brace right here. So I will just place my cursor right after update context and I will paste in my code snippet. Now I'll go ahead and click format text and you can see here that the text was formatted and that no error is being thrown. Now it's really important that you place the code here. If you place it somewhere else, like at the beginning of the code that is already featured here, what might happen is that you will see that a task is created every time a new milestone is added or even when an existing milestone is updated. Now I'll go ahead and place my cursor inside the planner.createTask v4 and what you'll notice in the formula bar is it will actually display a list of the different parameters that this function accepts. So you can see here the group ID, the plan ID, the title of the task, now you'll notice that we are going to pass in the name of the work item or the milestone. We're gonna take that name and actually pass it into the planner task. So that is what this text add work item name.text represents. And then if I place my cursor just after this comma, again, you can see here that we can pass in additional parameters. Now what you'll notice is the first item is the bucket ID. Now I'm going to go ahead and pass in a value here. And what that's going to do is it's actually going to allow me to create these tasks in a specific bucket of my Microsoft Planner plan. Now you can see here that I've switched over to Microsoft Planner and I am going to pass in the unique identifier for this bucket called test bucket. And again, whenever a new work item is created in the Milestones app, it's going to create that task in this plan and specifically add it to this bucket. All right, now what I'm going to do is I am going to paste in the bucket ID. All right, now you can see here that I've added in the bucket ID to ensure that this task is added in the specific bucket of my choice. And again, you do need to add in the identifier. So you can see here I have bucket ID colon, and then we have a set of quotation marks and we're going to actually paste in that bucket ID value inside the quotation marks. And then we're going to end this line off with a comma. Now, once you've finished updating this code, you can just minimize the formula bar by collapsing it here. And what you want to do is save the changes that you made to this app. And the next thing that we need to do is push these changes that we've made to the Milestones app in the specific team to the actual application in production. Now to do that, you want to click on this button here that says publish to teams. And then you want to click on the next button. And you can see here that the changes that we've just made are being pushed out or published to this app. And then you wanna go ahead and click save and close. And those changes have now been pushed to the specific instance of the Milestones app. Now what I've done is I filled out the new work item form and I've also placed my planner board on the same screen and I will go ahead and click create. 
And you can see here that the task was added to the test bucket. Now I'll go ahead and click on this. And you can see here the test to demonstrate that a planner task was created was created in this specific Microsoft Planner board, and it was also added to the specific bucket that we specified. And so that's it. In this tutorial, I demonstrated how you can integrate the Microsoft Teams Milestones app with Microsoft Planner. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.